OK, I'm going to take another call now. It's Pascal. Oh, and apparently he's been upset about something I said earlier about the French. Uh, 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 stop, stop, stop. What? Olivier. Mm? Stop, 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 stop. Olivier. Mm? I live here. Why are you doing this? Well, we were just discussing a, a topical point. Stop. Um, why ah. uh, people don't uh, hate the French anymore. Stop, stop, stop. I mean, we used to, and now we don't. Ah, it's, a, ah, it's a perfectly... Ah, ah, ah. What? Stop. I live here. I, I know you just told us that. I live here now. Okay. You are a bad man. You are a bad man. No. For you. What? No, up, I'm up, just... Up, up, I'm up. allowing people to speak. I'm not a bad man for allowing people allowing to speak to and speak, say their opinion. I'm monsieur. allowing you to speak, aren't I? Monsieur. What? No, we're just having a discussion. We're not saying... We're just having you a discussion. Must, uh, 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 I, I live here. I know you live here. You've told me four times. I, I no, hang on. I up, up, up. No, I'm just... Up, 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 up. Hello? I'm still here. I'm waiting for you to speak. I don't like y you. Oh. Thanks, Pascal. Thanks very much for your call. Oh. That's Pascal there reminding us of why we hate the French. OK, I've got Samson on the line. Hi, Samson. Good evening. A lot of people are talking about the uh, credit crunch and, and, and people owing money and things like this, right? Yeah. What they're failing to realise is that the Lord has opened the book of account. He's saying, you have spent, now let us see what is the consequence of your profligacy. And mm. people are failing to understand that. The account of Maras has come to book, and the Lord wants a answer for the wrongdoing, for the people that are besmirching the hurt with all of their wrongdoing and all of their lascivious behavior. So is that is it, what is going on, and people are failing to see like that. Is like Noah's Ark when he flooded everyone for, for being naughty? Now he's saying, you know, I'm going to kind of flood your economic thing. <coughs> uh. The Lord is saying... Give me an account, an explanation of what you have done. Right. The time is mm. coming when fire and brimstone shall rule yes. all the world and uh, all the sinners is shall the, burn in the fire right, of hell. Listen, calm down a second. Do not go into the cinemas and watching pornographic movies and uh, masturbating yeah. yourself right. in the street and on the bus. What okay. the hell is going on in this world? There's too much page tree sinners, women showing Samson. their breasts. Perhaps you're right. Perhaps we have been uh, worshipping money for too long and it's come back and bitten us on the, on the behind. Of course, that is what is happening. Well, Samson, that seems as good as any solution that the politicians have come up with. Maybe we should just start praying. We all have to pray, my friend. We Not can pray our pray. way out of this economic downturn. Pray, but stop going to the lap dancing bar. It is right. disgusting. It is and terrible. It is thank you for your call. Us, you Thanks, know. thank you, thank you. Moving swiftly on, um, who's our next caller? Hello, who's there? Hello, Mr. Bellamy. Is that Julius? That's right. Yeah, hi. Uh, I, I've just been listening to all this discussion about the credit crunch and mm. different things like that, you yeah. know. I've got the feeling that people are misunderstanding the fact that it is love that makes the world go round. Eh? But have you heard the term poverty walks in, love walks out? I have not heard that. Oh. I had these, these fellows, you know, the gas, uh, the electric council and so forth. They come into my house calling my name to the letter pocket. I tell him, what does it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world but lose his own soul? I will not pay you. Mm. Eh? Mm. Your charges are exorbitant. Yeah, I don't think you can pay your utility bills with love, Julius. I'm sitting in darkness. Yeah, well, there you go. And they've even taken my engine. <laughs> Do you think what? I'm bothered about it? it because I've got love in my heart. They took your car. It was a dance on cherry. Mm. He had led that chair throughout, but they took it. So thinking about love is keeping your spirits up, is it, Julius? You know, I'm looking forward to the summer. I oh. think that's when the ladies come out in the springtime. Oh, yes. They take off all their clothes. And Certainly, they... that'll make us a bit happy, won't it, seeing a few pretty ladies? I hope, hope they get their clothes repossessed. Well, they're all lying down there. Mm. Uh, on, on the on the gra on the grass with the bikini or whatever mm. reading the book. Under the you can trees. come and just recite to them uh, some words of Baron or Shelley or yeah. whatever. I like it when women have sat down on the grass for too long. You get those lovely little marks on the back of their legs. Oh, that's so delicious, isn't it? And then you can sometimes when they are, when they have turned over, they got the mark of the G string or whatever it yeah. is. I mean, who's worrying about credit crunch when you see the nice voluptuous mm. and derriere of the lady? It takes it you all away, that? doesn't it? it? Takes okay. it all away. Well, take, well, well, that is what I'm saying to you. Now you have realized. Mm. that what matters is not this matter of credit crunch or whatever. Who's mm. worrying about that? Crunch or crunch or crunch or not crunch. If the lady, she's delicious and mad watering enough, I couldn't give a monkey. No. Do you know what, Julius? I really am coming around to your way of thinking. Love making the world go round. You oh. must nibble the ladies as much as you can, my friend. Give them a nibble. Thanks very much for your call. Thank you so much. Talking of love. Thanks for your call.
My next call is uh, Professor Tom Wiley. Hello, Tom. Hi, good day to you, Mr. Bellamy. Hello. Uh, yeah, I am a practicing arborologist. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, uh, that means I have a, an infinite knowledge of all things that pertains to trees. Oh. And I can assure you that I start every day with a tumbler full of a freshly squeezed tree juice before mm. embarking on a 14-mile hike. So tree juice does that in fact exist? It most certainly does, Mr. Bellamy, rather like you. <laughs> <laughs> and and, and uh, how does it taste? Absolutely revolting. Thanks very much for your call. Thank you very much. Always a pleasure to talk to you guys over there in England. Must. Right, my next caller is Midge, and he wants to talk about people dying on the other side of the world. Hello, Midge. Hello, Gary, how are you? Yes, Midge here. Hello, Midge. What, what? Right, I'm fine, I'm fine. Why are you whispering? Talk up. Well, I'm, I'm on a train. Oh. I'm on a question. No, okay. I'm not allowed to actually use my mobile. Well, do you... So I'm having the whisper. Okay, fine. Hi. Right. Okay, well, what, what's your point? Midge, folk are looking at me in the funny way, Gary. Well, why don't you move to another part of the train? Oh, I'm not, but I'm losing my seat, Gary. Right, well... See, now, I think there's... I fear there's a chap coming over to tell me I have to terminate to my call. What does it, pal? I'm not sorry, I'm on the phone to the, the award-winning Gary Bellman. Carriage, you better wait. Aye. Fair enough. I put that f***ing heat on you, you wee poofter. Thanks for your... OK, who's my next caller? Hello? My name is Thomas Ledbury. Right. I'm from Aldershot, and I would like to ask you, why haven't they invented a proper robot, like in the film Silver Robot, which works as a butler? And sleeps in the evening when you turn him off and he helps around the home. Why, I don't know. Why, why, why haven't they? Well, I have no idea. I'm a child. Yeah, you're not really a child, though, are you? No. Right. My next caller is Early D. Hey, Bellamy, I've got a big yacht, man. I tell you, man, you're dangerous, innit? You know that, innit? Yeah. You know that, man. You are dangerous, man. You're, you're safe, man. You know that, innit? Dangerous and safe. You're dangerous, man. You're do they, safe. Do For they real, both mean real, the same get... thing? No, man, what it means is that you're the man, innit? Oh, yeah. You're large. You've got to large up yourself, man. Large up yourself all the while, innit? <laughs> big, big it. Big it up. Large up What's... yourself, Dredd. Listen, to me, right, mm. if a man is over on another side of the world and, and all heap of people get killed over there, man, mm. I don't care nothing, Dredd, right? It's survival of the fittest, innit? Don't bother me with that. Don't stress me with that, right? Come mm. out on my road, man. I don't need that. I've got to live my own life. I've got to struggle my own struggles, right? That's nothing yeah. to do with me. You know, there's a man, what him call again? Um, you know that man who, who writes Survival of the Fittest? Didn't Darwin, he? Charles Darwin. Darwin, yeah. He, he had the answer, man. You don't bother with not other people, uh, things, right? Right, he was talking about, he was largely talking about tortoises. No, man, he was talking about everything was born on, was born in, on, 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 on the earth, isn't it? For instance, I give you this, right? Yeah. Say if like if a lion, if a lion, right, or come outside my yard, right? Say if I'm in my yard and I got a little bit of roast duck or roast pig or whatever in there, I got all my mans in there, right? I got all my mans and all my people and we're picking up ourselves because our pocket is nice, man, and we just chilling, you understand, yeah. right? And then a lion come outside and say, Oh boy, why why go on early what? day I was, I, early day have a nice roast suckling in there and everything and the lion tried to come jump over the fence and eat up my, my suckling pig. <laughs> May I for dash the lion out dread. May I for kill it, make it come out. Because that lion never put it it, it under its pocket to nice up my pocket to say it it's... could put some money on my table to make me buy my suckling pig, innit? What are you talking about? What do you mean what I'm talking about? Well two things. Where do you live where a lion jumps over the fence and eats your duck or pig? You live in Kilburn. He says here, early D in Kilburn. How many lines? No, did... no, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm telling you, right? Because you're talking deep, and I respect you for that, dread, right? Thanks. What I'm saying is, I'm giving you a for instance, like it's a parable. It's a parable. Here's dread. the parable like, that, that you're having. Look after number one. Pull the ladder up, Jack, and leave the rest to walk. Thanks very much for your call.